Hello, my scary friends. This is another exclusive horror story. Okay, let's go. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. In the past, Martin thought everything has a reason. Martin became an adult and realized how wrong he was. How many times did he think that only one chosen one was in the world? And who could be this amazing person? Of course Martin. And why this thought came to him? Why did he imagine himself as the chosen one? Martin was a responsible person, but he could not say that his mind told him such a thing. His parents were saying how special he was. One day Martin entered the office. He did not like it but started working. Martin immediately thought, that little time he will work here and after this, the young man would leave the stupid job. Time was going and Martin understood that a new perspective did not come to him. He was working as a house seller. The life showed Martin that he could not be the chosen one. And once, when Martin was in his office and was looking for some information on the computer, someone knocked on the door. Hello. Martin said. It was strange, but he did not like to say, come in or something similar. The door opened. Martin did not know who came first. Maybe first was a young woman or the thought. Yes, thought told him, that only this job was the reason why Martin met with the amazing woman. If you will go in the past and find a different job your chance to meet this woman will disappear. Someone said and smiled. Martin regained consciousness and stood up. My name is Martin, he said. Please sit down. I hope that I can help you. The woman sat down in the chair and took the cigarette. I want lighter, she said. The woman was very demanding. Excuse me. Martin confused. I don't have the lighter. The beautiful woman looked at Martin. Her blue eyes were trying to see Martin's nature. The boy became red. He was very ashamed. Suddenly Martin saw how her eyes started to change the color. Yes, they became black. Oh, no. Martin liked the woman and became so confused. He knew that in reality, nothing changed. It was only his imagination. And why you don't have the lighter? The woman asked and touched her own white hair. I'm not smoking the cigarette. Martin answered. The white-haired woman told her name. Sylvia. It was a great name for such a proud woman. Do you want to be healthy? Sylvia asked. Because of this, you don't like cigarettes? No. Martin was badly confused. I just don't like cigarettes. Sylvia took the golden lighter. After a few seconds, she was smoking. She once again started to search for Martin's nature and after this, her eyes changed their direction. Okay. Sylvia said. You are not smoking the cigarette and you are much healthy. The boy wants to say that he is more than me. No. Martin said. I only. Enough. Sylvia interrupted him. I have an amazing organism. Nothing can break my health. And after this Sylvia started to talk about the time when her organism was very weak. The white-haired woman really loved to talk. In the end, she said, that one day everything changed and power came to her. And at this time Martin saw how her face has changed. But wait. Her face has not changed, only in an instant the head of the wolf appeared and covered the woman's face. Martin screamed and fell down. He was a strange boy. Martin could remember some creepy and strange stories from his life, but this was too much. The head of the wolf. Sylvia stood up and came close. Oh, I'm so sorry. She apologized. Sometimes I'm so bothersome. 
Martin stood up and said, how sorry he was. Let's begin, Sylvia said. I want to rent the house in a suburb. Martin clearly understood that he needed to act like a grown man. Maybe right now Sylvia was thinking that Martin was a total idiot. Because of this young man started talking very well. He was confident. Also, Sylvia became very humble. She was smiling and trying to be correct. After this, they started to search for the relevant houses. It was still morning when they entered the big house. Sylvia took a deep breath. She shook head and said. I want to see the basement. She went down and after a few minutes got back. No, I don't like this house, Sylvia said. At first, Martin thought that everything was okay. He had many clients and people were did not like some houses. On this day Martin saw something totally different. They checked so many houses. Sylvia was doing the same. The big breath and shook the head. After this, she was going to the basement. I don't like this house, Sylvia was saying. Martin understood that Sylvia had some problems. Maybe the mind of this beautiful woman did not want to work in the right way. At first, she was so strange and proud. After this Sylvia became humble. She saw so many amazing houses and said, I don't like it. In the evening they entered another house. One breath and Sylvia smiled. I want this house. She said immediately. Surprised Martin looked at her and asked. Maybe you will check the basement? No, it's not necessary, Sylvia answered. The woman smiled and waved her hands. Martin became much more confused. Why exactly this house? No, the house was really good, but on that day they saw much better houses. And when Martin was thinking about it, Sylvia turned back and said. Okay, boy. Next time you will need a lighter. I like it when a young man helps me with a lighter. Martin bowed his head and understood that he needed to go. He left the house, but the whole night Martin could not sleep. How many times he closed eyes. It was so stupid to try to sleep. Only Sylvia, yes only this amazing and mysterious woman was coming with Martin and defeating the sleep. Her long white hair was beautiful like nature and mysterious lonely wolf. But why Martin thought the wolf? Yes. In one moment he saw Wolf's head and scared. Suddenly Martin stopped thinking. He clearly understood that some desire conquered his soul. He immediately stood up and left the house. Martin was going by car. After one hour he stopped the car in the forest. Martin went up the hill. From there he saw the big house. The lights were lit. And Martin saw the amazing creature. Her long white hair. She was standing in the backyard and watching the full moon. Martin immediately became happy. He wanted to come close and be with her. But this idea was very stupid. After this Sylvia entered the forest. Martin thought that woman was extremely strange. What did she want at that time in the woods? The wolf howl stopped his mind work. Martin interested. He did not know that wolves were living in that forest. The roar stopped his new thought. Martin screamed and turned back. The big white werewolf was running towards him. Of course, Martin wanted to run but after a few seconds he fell down and everything became black. He opened eyes and saw the brown ceiling. Martin quickly stood up. His room, it was only his own room. Martin opened the door and called his sister. What happened? The girl asked. How I became here? Martin asked. What are you talking about? His sister was confused. 
Yesterday you came to the house after work. Martin once again remembered everything. No, in the night I went to the forest, he said. You are talking some stupid thing, the girl said. His sister and family members did not saw Martin when he went into the forest. You don't know but in the night I went to the forest. Martin tried to explain. In the forest the white wolf attacked me. I lost my mind. What happened? What happened after this? The surprised girl was looking at him. After a few minutes his sister answered. Maybe it was only a nightmare and nothing more? Martin closed the door and sat down in the chair. Yes, only the nightmare and nothing more. But everything was so realistic. Suddenly the terrifying thought entered his mind. If the werewolf lived in the forest, the monster could kill Sylvia. He immediately took the phone and called Sylvia. No one answered. In the second moment, Martin became much more surprised. The long white hair of Sylvia and the white werewolf. There was a resemblance. And if he would start thinking so many strange ideas will come. Sylvia told, that in the past she was weak, but one moment changed everything. Her talking was so strange. Maybe she became the werewolf and her health problems ended. The idea was so terrifying. Yes, he met with the werewolf and showed so many houses. In the office, his friend smiled and said. You are a very good worker. Why? Martin asked. No one did it. His friend screamed. You are the one and only. But what I did? Martin asked again. You got money from the scariest house in town. His friend answered. After this, his friend told many stories about the scariest house. In the past, many people rented this house, but after a few days, they wanted to run away. Some people were saying that all these people died. Yes, they left the house and died. Right now Sylvia was living in this house. At night, when Martin was lying in bed, he asked himself. Why does she want to live in that house? At this time he heard screaming. Martin quickly stood up. His sister was screaming. Suddenly the door opened and the bloody sister entered the room. She was crying. The scariest creature wants to live in a scary house. And after that, the werewolf entered the room. Martin screamed. This creature found him. The werewolf used claws and killed Martin's sister. Martin burst into tears and knelt down to his sister. The big white werewolf smiled and said. You saw me in the backyard. You know my secret and I will kill you. No, Sylvia. Martin said, please stop this madness. In the next moment, he saw Sylvia. She was so beautiful. You transformed so quickly. Martin said. Sylvia smiled. Martin saw her big fangs. In the second moment, Martin understood that he was lying in bed. Because of Martin screaming his sister entered the room. Calm down, she said. It was only a nightmare. Martin was screaming so loudly. Martin said that everything was okay and his sister left the room. At this time Martin clearly saw how stupid he was. Several nightmares attacked him, and Martin immediately thought that Sylvia was a werewolf. These bad situations were only a nightmare and nothing more. The sleeping desire came to him. He wanted to meet with Sylvia. The whole night Martin was thinking about it. In the morning he checked jacket pockets. No way. Martin said. The keys to the creepy house were in his pocket. Yes, Martin forgot to give keys. How stupid he was. Otherwise, 
he had a chance. Martin would call Sylvia and said, what happened, but wait. Sylvia had no keys, and she did not call Martin. She was so strange woman. And Martin called her. No one answered. Martin was going into the forest. The luck was on his side. Martin would Sylvia one more time. And he knocked on the door, but no one opened. Maybe Sylvia was walking in the town? It does not matter. Martin said. He opened the door and entered the house. Sylvia and only this amazing woman. Martin wanted to saw her pretty face and long white hair. Miss Sylvia, it's me. Martin said, I'm Martin. No one answered. Martin passed the long corridor and entered the guest room. He was standing there and thinking about the future. What will happen when he would meet Sylvia? At this time Martin heard a sound. Someone was walking. Maybe Sylvia entered the house. Martin turned back and entered the long corridor. In another moment he became some frozen statue. The tall creature was standing in front of him. It was strange but it had short legs and a long torso. Also, the creature had long hands. The monster was coming slowly. The big round eyes were scary. The thin and long neck was moving. The creature was smiling. Martin fell down. The creature grabbed his leg. At this time someone hit the monster. The creature fell back. Martin stand up. It was a woman's voice. Someone grabbed him and run away. When Martin opened eyes he saw that Sylvia was closing in the closet. Stay here, she said. One second and Martin heard that fight begun. When silence came Martin opened the closet. The white werewolf was standing in the room. The tall monster was dead. The white werewolf turned back and started to transform into a human. After ten minutes Sylvia made coffee. They sat down in the chair and started to drink warm coffee. What is going here? Martin asked. This monster was living here. Sylvia answered. He came here from another world, and this terrible creature scared many people. The people were going from here but the monster was following and killing them. And you are the werewolf. Martin said. Yes, werewolf who hunts the monsters. Yes, I'm working for the government, Sylvia answered. They did not want monsters. I have everything. I have a good salary and a beautiful house. But you have a very dangerous job, Martin noted. Yes, Sylvia smiled. And she went away. Martin was very shamed. The man did not help the woman. Yes, Sylvia was the werewolf, but she still needed some help in the fight. All told Martin that he's a talented guy, but he did not have some features. Yes, talent is good, but you need something more to use the talent. Maybe he was a coward, or he just did not love the risk. Anyway, Sylvia went away. She was gone. When Sad Martin entered his cabinet and sat down he saw the paper. He read the text. You are weak, but you want more. Because of this, I like you. If you want to become a monster and be with me, come to a creepy house. Martin smiled. He was going to the forest. Yes, he should have been with Sylvia.